Up in the 31 point, 917. And it's still got uh, problems with my DRS. I can't, uh, I can't use it. stopping is maybe going to try to take the lead away because Labor's car is going to be unstable. Stop and getting around Waver. This is the battle for the lead. Well, they're getting close to him. Almost bumped into him, too. Again. And you cannot do three wide over here. <laughs> and I'm going to try to get around for stopping. This is the battle for P2. Can I get it? Yes, I can. That was a nice pass. See, I took my patience and I got him. This is still not fixed yet. And he lost a couple of positions right now. And I now pass uh, Lucas Waver. This is the battle for the lead. Nope, I cannot get him. I hit the apex. Ooh, that was close. And now I got my teammate K-Man right with him. Remember, there's no DRS zone anymore on this uh, section. They abandoned that uh, this season. the waiver on the outside uh, on that left apex and I now take the lead here in the British Grand Prix. Man, that was some nice racing in the last seven laps of this race. It wasn't easy to get around them, but uh, I finally got the lead. still racing without a DRS, it's still broken, but I'm still setting some good laps. And I now have a minute 31.174. I just can't believe I'm having a miracle to race without a DRS uh, mode.
Well, now we got this race under control, and now we got about almost a two-second lead over. Uh, and now K-Mag is now down in the inside of Lucas Weber, so now Red Bull is down 1-2 here at the British Grand Prix. Yeah, nice battle going out between Weber and Magnuson. The RS will be offline as a fault with the rear wing system. Stay out, we can work on a fix remotely. We're leading our teammate by 2.9 seconds. This is unbelievable that I'm racing without a DRS uh, mode. You know, I was good competitive racing in the last seven laps. It wasn't easy, and I didn't even get passed uh, right behind by anyone. I remember this is the first race I'm running with the fresh um, MGU-H and a turbocharger. Because now I could use it in the second portion of the season. after 9 of 52 laps. And I'm already outpacing Lucas Waver. Lucas Waver is losing a lot of ground with that 30 air coming from K-Mag because he keeps passing him every time. That's just slowing his car down. And I set the fastest lap in a minute 31 point. Oh, you are. Say goodbye to everybody, and now the, the mini map we showed you is just disappearing right now. Lucas Waver is still running dirty air over K Mag. Kevin Magnuson has better results today, but he's still getting uh, battling out with uh, Lucas Waver. They're losing a lot of seconds uh, every lap of this race. He's got to get out of that dirty air. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. All right, Go we're going to be going to uh, pit in our one and only pit stop on lap 24 to change over to the medium.
looking nice and tidy on our end. Let us know if you start to feel any issues. We're 9.3 seconds ahead of my teammate Kevin Magnuson, who was running in second. He was still, and Waver was still not far behind. He's still holding on to that position. So we make it across the line after 13 of 52 laps. And we're going to spend 12 laps on these soft tires before we change them over to our one and only pit stop to the medium tires. And everybody else is just spreading out here in this race. Ten seconds ahead of my teammate. It's a one-two so far for the Red Bull Hondas. And remember, this is the uh, the team's home uh, home soil here at the British Grand Prix. If we finish one-two here at the British Grand Prix, this will be a huge party for the Milton Keys here at the British Grand Prix. That's where their uh, Formula One race shop is. P3 right now. Lucas Waver has lost a couple of positions.
Well, we've been running a mistake-free race so far. We haven't had any contact with anybody. Uh, a couple of close calls there in the start of the race. Uh, that, that was great uh, racing in the start of the race, uh, battling out with Verstappen, Waver, Magnussen, and Kofia. Because we were all running in a freight train, and I was being patient out there to whether to make my move, and I sure did. And then I took the lead on lap 9. Well, actually, lap 8 I took the lead, and now my DRS system is finally uh, fixed. After having issues of it in the start of the race, and now I can use it to, uh, to pass all the back marker cars. Oh man, my teammate Kevin Magnuson has an issue on his car. You know, in the start of the race I had issues with my car with my DRS problem, but it looks like it's a mechanical issue for uh, K-Mag, and he's going to be losing P2, and he's going to be slow on the track. So a tough break for my teammate Kevin Magnuson, and it looks like we're not going to be able to go 1-2 here at the British Grand Prix. Because when you have an issue on your car, your car is going to be uh, unstably slow. And there you see it, and Waver's going to go around Magnuson, and it looks like one of the Mercedes cars is going to go around him as well. He's going to be losing several positions if they don't get that fixed uh, quickly. And then Waver is already up holding advantage on K Mag, uh, blocking the two Mercedes uh, in their mix. But looks like when they have DRS, they're going to be around them. A uh, huge, a tough break for Kevin Magnuson. And then there's Capia going by for uh, P3. Can this be uh, Kapiat State to finally get a podium? It's still uh, very early to tell, but we're after 18 or 52 laps. seconds ahead of uh, Waver, and Kapia and teammate for stopping are going at it for podium. The two Mercedes are running third and fourth, while K-Mag is now dropped into P5 and he's still having that mechanical issue.
back up to speed. And K9 finally gets his uh, mechanical issue fixed. Let's see if he can try to get it back up in the speed and maybe possibly just get a podium finish at the end of this race. Faster every lap here in this race. We're up to 20 or 52 laps, so we have about 33 laps remaining here in the British Grand Prix. And on lap 21, I've already got a faster lap, and I crack in a minute in 30.954. My car is working beautifully out here. It's handling well. It's got the pace. Everything is perfectly good on, on this Red Bull Honda. And I'm beginning to go into uh, lap traffic right now. I don't think I'll be able. To, I think I'll be able to put one of them a lap down. I think that's probably Lance Stroll that's running dead last right now in this race. I remember the name Grosjean started dead last. It looks like he's moving up in the field. As you know, my health has been uh, all right. You know, I haven't been traveling uh, anywhere uh, since uh, since they had this illness uh, in January. I barred uh, traveling until uh, this summer, until everything is completely safe. And I had to withdraw one of the tournaments uh, and my favorite sport in bowling. I do bowling as well. And you can check that out. I have a couple of videos uh, on my uh, Speed Japo 3 channel. You can check that out if you like. And I still can't believe we're having bowling right around my area and everything. They should be maybe postponing or anything. That's, uh, but I have no reports of the uh, the owner doing that or anything. It looks like we're possibly going to pull through in the final 10 weeks. And you know, when May comes and everything, I think everything should be settling down, hopefully, and then, uh, then we could go to the summer league. And if everything is good in, in June, then I'll be able to do my next tournament with the summer rama. About a couple laps away of making our one and only pit stop to change over into the medium tires. And I'm now uh, close again. I'm putting a lap on one of the Williams cars. It seems to be Lance Stroll or Lewis Hamilton. Let me see if we can get closer. No, it's Lance Stroll. That last as usual. Uh, Williams, the back marker, so uh, here at the uh, Formula One this season, and when they return in May, they could be having the same scenario as well. And now I close in on Lance Stroll. It looks like he's going to let me go by right now. Slowing down considerably, and now Lance Stroll now goes a lap down. Kevin is in for his stop.
and Carlos Sainz is running in 19th. Remember, he did start in 6th place, but it looks like he got wind damage from some of the drivers in the start of the race. Ooh, almost made contact with him. But he goes a lap down. <clears throat> and this is the next lap that we're going to be pinning our one and only foot stop. Right pit stop here at the uh, British Grand Prix because it's at the right side of the, the pit lane and it's very long here. So strategy is very critical here and then you can lose uh, valuable spots uh, here at the Silverstone Circuit. And it's the only track that has that. And I'm very glad we only pit here one time.